Good evening and welcome to PBN TV tonight. I'm John Young with PBN TV and DJ and TV. A lot of you have heard me out there. Oh, we've got audio going, audio going tonight. Um, welcome to tonight's show. We're broadcasting out to Facebook and YouTube and different places tonight. Tonight's show, we're going to be looking at uh, some of my picks from Photo Booth Expo 2020. Uh, typically, I would have done this last week, but... <laughs> This is our first year of doing the DJ track there. For those of you who got to meet me at the show, thank you for stopping in and, and shaking my hand and meeting me. Yay. Um, I was I was shot. Last week, I probably couldn't even think, much less do a show. So this week, we are going to jump on uh, doing a show, uh, talking about some of my picks from the show. So I've got some images and some video footage, and we're going to jump right into that. I know in the title, it says there's five picks, and I've got way more than five. And I wanted to, again, just give you guys an idea of some of the things I thought were pretty cool at this year's show. Now, this isn't a full list of things. There's a, a lot of great exhibitors there, just some things that caught my eye and I missed a ton. Uh, there's a walk around. If you go out to uh, PBN TV, um, the YouTube channel, there's a walk around that has um, the steady cam, so it's a little steadier. And then there's one out at DJ and uh, the Disc Jockey News uh, channel, which is youtube.com slash Disc Jockey News, which was my cell phone. A little shakier, but that one I was kind of watching more for keeping it on on track those are out there available the full exhibit hall walk around you can check that out before we get into it down in the description of this video this is your gonna be your last chance to get tickets for 2021 as cheap as they are down there is the link uh, you can go to pbntv.com slash tickets or djntv.com slash 2021 both of those are pretty links that go to go to the uh, website so you can buy tickets Below that link in the description is the area uh, or the promo codes. There's three promo codes, one for the DJ track, one for the key pass for the photo booth side. Those will get you in to the educational content, photo booth content, DJ content. Then there's the $5 exhibit hall pass. Seriously, go buy one. So that way you're on the list and you will know when things are And If you, you can go buy 10 of them for, for all you want. And you know what? You can buy them, buy 10. And as we get closer, the price goes up. You could probably sell these or give these to a friend and, give, and make some friends. So that information is all there. Go check that out in the description below. So let's jump into the tonight's show. Um, again, we're going to be going through, and I want to clear, clear, just give me a sec here, uh, of some of the things. There we go. So that's not the one I wanted to start with. So I'm going to change that. And do, that'll be what we get to and at the end. So the first thing we're going to be looking at, this is from uh, Light Post. What this is basically the kind of the little stanchions for when you're going to be doing the roping things off from an area. And what's cool about it is that this is a battery powered little illuminated um, uh, post there, which will allow you to have, um, you know, that, that area kind of boxed off so you can have people flow through your photo booth. This was a neat idea and I really liked it. Now, I don't, I'm not even sure if they're the ones who sold it or, or not. I got a better picture here of the name of it. So let me just get that. So you guys can check that out. But Light Post, L Y T E Post, check that out. That was a really cool thing that would give you a different look. And it might be that it's even a hollow thing and you can put, I don't know. I just saw it and it's like, this was just an eye catching thing for those of us who like, who need to have sometimes where you're fencing things off, whether it's kids in directing traffic one way, where they come in the photo booth one way and go out the other way, whatever. This is something you definitely want to check out here. And again, this is the light post, which is one of the cool things I found at the show. Continuing on for the DJ's and not just for DJs. This is a this was a DJ uh, kind of a table here from Odyssey Cases. What I liked about this and why I think I included it in a photo booth show is it's not just a DJ thing. It is a a workstation here. You can see the uh, back side of it. But as I looked at this, I'm thinking to myself, how cool would this be in your photo to have your photo booth and such, and you could have that live preview on the stand in front of it, so people from across the room could see the live preview of what's going on in the in the booth area. They'd be able to see it. You've got your little workstation. So you can do if you do any cutting and trimming or what have you. If you want to hire your diet Pepsi there, you can do that. I thought that was kind of a neat idea because it has obviously applications within the DJ industry as they're showing a controller there. But that concept of having a a booth set up with a large LED screen on that uh, for or the LCD on there, so you can do. I think there's something to that that could be kind of fun because many of the times when I've got my little 17 inch screen, people are trying to see that, but they can't see it from a distance away. So if something funny is happening in the booth, they can't really see it unless they're on top of it. So this could be a neat idea, and I just wanted to include that on there. Um, of course, this particular unit has some nice casters on it for easy rolling in. 
just an idea. Not that specific one, maybe, because that's DJ, but just an idea for, to kind of stimulate some of those of you, of you who like to kind of do some DIY stuff. Next, from Mo Booth, these were the the Mo uh, the Mo lights here. You're seeing the two uh, light bars on either side of the the Mo Booth. Uh, get uh, kind of the little popsicle of mobile in the middle. Those little lights are, uh, they're, they're plug-in lights, but they're LED and they can adjust colors and dimness and what have you. They break down into uh, uh, into uh, easy transport. I believe there's, yeah, this might be a better spot. You can see the cord and such. Um, very uh, compact. They break down for easy shipping. You can go into the bags and such and you are out the door. What I really liked about that is I could go if you watch the video, I go into that and you can actually see, like if you're, you're kind of seeing, I'm getting some lights in my glasses right now. Well, with this particular one, there wasn't any of that going on. So you could you could have those to the side a little bit farther and it wasn't getting those rings that you sometimes get uh, in your glasses if you wear glasses like I do. And you're seeing, again, some of the lights around the office uh, shining off my glasses. This allows you to keep it to the side and have a little bit even uh, more even coverage, which is really kind of cool. And then, of course, you can get four of them and have it a green screen, and that would help give you a, a more even coverage across that green screen. So, um, oh, hang on a sec. You know what? We're going to start over again because I those, that image, those images weren't showing up. Let's go back here. This is the light post. Sorry about that. And there's a, I got to, this is just not. There we go. Now we should be good. Sorry about that. The light post. There's the light post I was talking about. Give you the, the ideas. I was looking at the wrong screen, the preview one, and, and it, this is what. And here's the DJ booth that um, that has the TV in front of it. And again, I apologize for that. I didn't uh, I didn't catch that in the chat room. Um, there we go, Rob. The chat room isn't for some reason the chat room isn't connected, and I didn't see that. So this is this is the the DJ booth, and I think that as a work table. Yeah, thanks, uh, uh, Fernando. I missed. I I didn't. Uh, I didn't have it advanced. So we'll come back and we'll come back. This is the DJ booth that I think could be a great workstation for the photo booth uh, folks. It has space to work. It has the area in front with the TV and the casters on the bottom. I apologize for that. Okay, the Mo booth. Here are those Mo booth. Uh, the Mo lights right here uh, on either side of the. Yeah, uh, I apologize again uh, for not having those pictures up. I thought I had them up. I forgot to click the final advance to make it happen. So my bad. Okay, so the Mo booth here, uh, the Mo booth, the lights, again, they're, they're tall. They're, they're about six foot plus. They're a little bit taller than I am, but I guess that could be six foot because I'm getting older and shrinking. So you can spread them out, you can move them around, you can get some nice even coverage. So that's a, a really cool thing from Mo Booth here. And if you want to find these, go out to photoboothexpo.com. I believe there's an exhibitor list out there somewhere, and you can find the companies that um, were there and uh, be able to find these. Or go to the um, walkthrough, and the walkthrough I have, I tried to give you every URL I could. So uh, this is uh, the more more look at the mobile booth. Now, of course, the iPad selfie booths were kind of a kind of a big thing, and this is something I really thought was kind of neat. Here is this is um, from the uh, 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 Romer, uh, the the uh, which Romer this is I think this is uh, one of the Romers. I'm not sure which one this is. Um, and I yeah, just completely forgot which one this is. But what was kind of neat about this is they're they getting it so you can go and you can set the uh, the roamer in there and then you can take it out and you can be walking around and such. And this little stand is a has a quick attach ability so that they can go and put it in there and off they go. Um, this is a, a kind of a cool little thing. It's not as sturdy as some of the, the heavier duty ones out there, but it gives you uh, the ring roamer. There we go, ring roamer, thank you. Uh, the ring roamer, it gives you the ability to use it as a standalone booth or to take it apart and to go walking with it. So this is from the ring roamer booth there. Uh, I'll give it a second shot, just showing you. It has uh, has its the cords and such, so you can plug it in and have it there, so it's good to go. Okay, continuing on. Um, next we've got I believe this was Photomaster. I'm pretty sure this is Photomaster. Um, you have to check the video. But basically what it is, is an overhead camera. And I don't know if I have a picture of... Da -da 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 -da. Let me see. I'm going to have to move this. There we go. Yes, I do have it. So this is an overhead camera and a green screen on the floor. And what this would allow you to do is, as she's doing here, she you know down, lay down, lays down on the floor, sits on the floor, whatever, and looks up at the camera, takes the picture, and then we get the not bad. And then this is one. I'm going to see if I can zoom in here just a little bit more for you guys. And then you can super or put yourself over a variety of different things, whether it's a rock pile or in this case, kind of the water of a pool or whatever. Uh, there was one that was a little uh, swimming 
swimming raft and you can be in that. But the idea is that you're doing the green screen, but you're doing it from overhead. So you could, you know, have it be a, a spaceship looking at you, from, you know, on the moon plant, the moon area. And you're like, ah, I'm stuck on the moon, that kind of thing. Um, just a different idea for an overhead. And the overhead camera, there was probably two or three that were, were uh, touting that this year. So that was kind of a neat um, and different thing. And I believe, again, this is PhotoMaster. Um, I think we'll get to see it in just a little bit from our other videos uh, that we're going to be looking at because I've got some video clips that we're going to go through. Now, these are clips from, from my actual walk around here. And again, um, for those of you who are watching, the link's down below, uh, the djntv.com slash 2021 or pbntv.com slash tickets. Those will take you to the ticket portal. The promo codes are down below. Those promo codes are gonna be the ones that will get you the cheapest tickets for 2021. You can get your DJ pass right now. You can get your Photo Booth Expo pass right now. Photo Booth Expo will get you into the Photo Booth Expo seminars. DJ will get you to the DJ seminars for 2021. Then everybody gets into the exhibit hall. Or if you just want the exhibit hall, five bucks will get you into the exhibit hall right now. Links down, link is down below. The promo code is down below. Go buy your tickets now because it's, goodness gracious, a cup of coffee and you can get into this exhibit hall that we're gonna be, we're talking about right now. It's just crazy, crazy, crazy. Uh, grab that and we'll get you, get you going for 2021. Okay, so we're gonna start out, we're looking at, uh, let's see, I'm gonna go backwards in time in this walk around. So this is the PhotoMaster uh, booth that we're looking at. And PhotoMaster is one of the companies that is okay, a this is pretty cool. big player in the photo This is a, a mosaic this is one of, their, of their, their, their name. So they're gonna be able to fill this in. That's gonna look pretty cool. The mosaic, so Come Thursday, this will all be filled in and it will look awesome. But check that out, so to create their, their, photo, photo, their name before. is a one door large door mosaic. PhotoMaster has some really cool, innovative pieces of gear. This is a lot of people just to stop this. It looks like kind of the spoon you would get at a baseball park to eat your ice cream, kind of, where it says custom logo. It's it's a plastic bottom, and you're seeing a white one on the other side, and you're seeing a black one on this side. But you can get this customized, and this is what a lot of a lot of uh, companies are doing now, is they're taking something like that, customizing it for each of their events. So if, let's say I'm working for Pepsi, this week, I could have it, you know, Pepsi, you know, Pepsi Cola, whatever. And next week I could be working for NASCAR, whatever. And it's the customization to be able to make your photo booth fit the company and fit the theme. And that was kind of a neat idea because you've got some nice area there to be able to put your logos and such on there, their logos on there. And yet uh, when you're done, peel them off and you'd be ready to go. And it's a nice clean look there with that. Jump at some of their, their new of things course, each year uh, because it really Master will help you some, kind some of set larger, uh, larger yourself you apart because they have some things there. that some are unique that to the have. industry. And you can do some different branding and things with the PhotoMaster pieces. Right now they're working with their, getting their staff ready to go for the show. They've got the mirrors and for a variety of different options. This is PhotoMaster is definitely one to check out because they have got probably the most variety within their company. Um, and I think they're out at photomasterltd.com, I believe. Uh, but you can check them out, uh, photo, F-O-T-O, master. You can, you can find them online. Okay, I want to go back in time on our video here. I'm going to go back to 3338. And this is going to, excuse me for the, uh, the scrub here. It's going to be 3338. This is from Max Photo Booth. And you're seeing on the, uh, on the table, this is their, uh, their, their roving uh, little photo booth with the iPads base. Some are for the iPad mini, some are for the iPad Pro. Now straight ahead, let me see, can you see my mouse? Yeah, you can see my mouse. This little guy, this is their, their photo booth, but it's got a little bit different design. It is meant to take these little rovers and you can basically drop it in. Chunk, it drops in and it's secure. Take a look at that footprint. That footprint is a lot bigger than some of the others that you have. we've already shown you one. This has got a bigger footprint. It just drops in quick and easy. And now you've got a photo, uh, a selfie booth, standalone selfie booth. And because it's battery powered on the, um, the rover itself, it can go anywhere. The rover itself can go anywhere. So the Max Roamer can be in the corner, can be, it doesn't matter. And then if you need to, say during a special uh, moment on the dance floor, you can go over, yank it out, and you can go around and do things around the dance floor. A really cool idea to have that quick access. And that's from Max Photo Booth right there. Uh, but Let's see, I'm going to go back now. I'm going to go. Now, 360 booths were a big thing uh, this year, and they were actually able to be there pretty much the whole time, so that was kind of cool. And there we go. This is a kind of a back 
uh, as I'm coming into the booth here. Uh, Steve Lynch is there on the left, uh, set it, getting set up. And again, this is before, uh, hours before. Steve has got a variety of different options. They've got a mirror booth, which didn't make the show this year. But what you're seeing in the middle is their 360 booth. They have got a Venue 360. That is a, a powered uh, little, little device. You can put the camera on there, and it spins it around. It feeds, I believe they're using a GoPro. That fed into the uh, system so they could go and do some really cool uh, things with the software that you can get. And they've got the Venue Pro, and they've got in front... Uh, anyway, it didn't show in this video, but a video that will be hitting later this week is there. They have a variety of little portable uh, roaming type uh, uh, selfies booth, we'll call it. And one of them looks like a little mirror, uh, a little handheld mirror. So I was looking at that and I'm thinking to myself, well, what a great upsell to the bride is that you could have it it's like, hey, would you like this? This little mirror and you can go around and do a bride and it's a pretty mirror and it's all dolled up and such. It looks really nice. And she can go around and click and she can do pictures selfies with her and any of her you know wedding party it has a little illumination so they get better quality pictures it's on the ipad so it's there but it's a small enough so it's a little bit probably about the size about the size of a sheet of paper roughly about that size and it and it's really it's the unit is actually sitting on the floor, I believe, on the other side of that stand. So uh, you'll have to watch for the video that comes out uh, next here from Atlanta Photo Booth. That's a really cool thing, and I think that's going to be a hot upsell for a lot of photo booth folks who want to have something that they can hand the bride. She can go great, get some great photos, and you don't have a ton of money invested in that. Okay, so let's see. where We were there. We were there. So I want to go back down to 2044 is my next time. 2044, where are we at? So there are a variety of, of photo booths at different price points. Some are very expensive. Uh, some you can get into some self booths state, for that, maybe insurance, that I guess. And if you really, really, really want to be inexpensive with your purchases to the point of maybe being a little flimsy, there are options like this. And for those of you who are photo booth folks out there, I wanted to show this to you. Now, I'm not condoning buying this stuff, but I, you need to know if you didn't see this stuff, it was there. It, it is out there that people can now go and buy this ring light. This ring light and iPad bracket was like $125. There's you can this stuff is out there. So what does that mean? It means that the, because these things are out there and are so cheap, yeah, the iPad's expensive, yeah. But people are going to be purchasing these things, and then we're going to have to do something to differentiate ourselves. Some of that will be creating a different experience with backdrops and different things that would make it a little bit more of a experience rather than just standing in front of an iPad with a ring light. Or it might be more customization with logos and things for your corporate clients, whatever. But you need to be aware that a photo booth kit. There, and available, now let's and check this out because brackets. this is one of the areas when you've got a iPad up here. And I like how they, they they've added onto this ring. So you've got your ring light and they've added on a little bracket to stiffen it up. So you have these little photo booth. These little inexpensive photo booth methodologies, and maybe a lot of you have been on an Amazon and you've seen these out there. They can do it, and they can do it uh, fairly inexpensively. You need to know that so you can be the person who's putting more time and effort into creating an experience for your guests that will be something that people will want to have over just getting something really cheap uh, each and every time they're out there. So. Anyway, so those are my picks. Um, got a variety of different things. Again, I apologize for that. I wanted to make this a quick little video, and I went. I had to do, re, uh, do redo that first part of it. Links down below to go get your passes and such for the 2021 show. Uh, there's discount codes down there. Grab those. Use those right now because those discounts are going to go away here as we get um, in the next uh, next few weeks and get into the next month, and the prices go up. So those. Prices are locked in right now, but you got to take advantage of them now if you want to. Go to uh, pbntv.com slash tickets. Use the promo codes down below in this uh, description of this video and get yourself in for 2021. And we'll see you in Las Vegas. Dates, February 22nd through the 25th, Monday through Thursday. Monday through Wednesday is education. Tuesday through Thursday is, is exhibit hall. We will see you in Las Vegas next time. This is John Young with PBN TV. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.